Hi, Professor Betty Brown here. The topic is modernism. Modernism is a very complex term for art historians. It can refer to everything that's happened in Western culture since the Renaissance. It can refer to everything that's happened in Western culture since the middle of the 19th century. And it can refer to a style or a group of styles and it can refer to, yes, I'm on number four now, a, a group of characteristics or shared attitudes. Modern artists are, in general, utopian in their quest. They seek a better world. They seek to change the world for the better. So they are idealists and utopian idealists. Modern artists believe that there is an answer they believe in progress towards that answer. They believe in a master narrative that will lead them to the best outcome of the story. Most of the really important modern artists were white men. And although there were women artists during the time and people of color making art during the time, the dominant culture privileged the activities of white men at, throughout the modern period. I like to think of modernism as starting in the middle of the 19th century with the avant-garde um, provocations of Gustave Courbet and Edward Manet in the 1850s and 60s. And I like to think of modernism as being fairly eclipsed by postmodernism by something like 1968. That's a great watershed year for the transition to postmodernism. I think the key component of modernism is that the modern definition of art involves a, a search for originality and that art, modern art is defined by the artist expressing himself.